Welcome to our first Blue Star match of the season, brought to you by Newcastle Breweries. And what a vital game Newcastle against Wimbledon has turned out to be. Wednesday night, the third round of the Coca-Cola League Cup, and Kevin Keegan is heading for a crisis. His team have lost their last two games, he's dropped his brightest two rising stars, and now Newcastle are a goal down to Wimbledon at Selhurst Park. But Keegan's spirits are raised thanks to a classy equaliser from Scott Sellers. Lee, Wimbledon again, put in, and then the league on another challenge in Beardsley. Now Scott Sellers, Sellers, expertly finished off by Scott Sellers. But Wimbledon's reputation as one of the country's most obstinate teams is confirmed again as the Dons fight back to snatch a messy winner through Dean Holdsworth. United out of the League Cup and Keegan is set to walk into his second almighty rumpus in four days. News breaks that the manager had a pre-match row with his leading goalscorer Andy Cole. And the club's record buy had walked out in the same week as Lee Clark had also felt his manager's wrath. By Friday morning, a whole army of pressmen, photographers and camera crews had descended on United's training ground as Cole and Keegan sorted out their differences. The manager and his superstar trained together, determined to cope with Cole's problem of homesickness and gain revenge on Wimbledon. Well, uh, it has been a difficult week. It's been, um, it's been a nightmare in terms of results, which bothers me most. Um, we've lost all three games. The situation is that uh, Lee Clark and Andy Cole are in the squad for the game against Wimbledon tomorrow. Um, certainly, uh, Andy Cole will play. There's no doubt about that. And then I'll select the others. Uh, tomorrow, let them know what the team is. So Joe Kinnear brings his Wimbledon side north for a second clash with Kevin Keegan's team in just four days. The rematch then of Newcastle against Wimbledon is our Blue Star match today. Join us after the break for complete coverage of this crucial game for United, brought to you exclusively by Newcastle Breweries. Stranger in an unfamiliar town might spoil your enjoyment of McEwen's Ladder. Let's hear it for trains. United against Wimbledon for our first Blue Star match of the season and what a game in prospect we have now. The second time these two teams meet in just four days. And it's Newcastle reunited now with Andy Cole back in the number nine shirt after being sensationally left out in midweek. The centre of so many traumas and so much debate this week but he's back now ready to let his goals hopefully do the talking for him. Also back in the fold as well, Lee Clark. He too was in hot water with the manager after his reaction to being substituted down at Southampton. He was missing on Wednesday night down at Selhurst Park against Wimbledon and just how much Newcastle did miss those two players there, Cole and Clark. So the United team has a more familiar look about it today. Alex Maffey misses out, he's down on the bench on this occasion, and Malcolm Allen doesn't play. He got a knock in midweek down at Wimbledon as well. Brian Kilcline on the bench. Scott Sellers playing his first full home game of the season. It's the same lineup for Wimbledon as one that knocks United out of the Coca-Cola Cup. Warren Barton wears two, operates in midfield as well. Number four, Vinnie Jones, got a, a fair reception when his name was read out. 
sure you can imagine what sort of reception that was. But Wimbledon, of course, who won 2-1 in midweek. Kevin Scott, you can see, sporting a real shiner above that right eye, which was a souvenir of the battle between him and John Fashionu. A very experienced referee this afternoon as well for this game. It's Vic Callow from Solihull. And how much Kevin Keegan will be looking for the right sort of performance today as referee Mr Callow gets us underway. Wimbledon again in all red. Newcastle, of course, in their famous black and white stripes. And looking to end a disastrous run of three consecutive de defeats on the right note with a convincing home performance this afternoon. A week's a long time in politics. It must have seemed an eternity for these players in football. Beardsley, who had the main job of trying to provide the midfield inspiration on Wednesday night without Lee Clark there. And he'll be pleased, I'm sure, to see Clark share some of the midfield responsibility. And here's a first touch for... Lee Clark looking to have a run at the defence perhaps. Bracewell deeper as usual. The back for Barry Venison. The first touch as well for Andy Cole. Venison again. Wide for Clark. Newcastle stringing a series of passes together without really getting the ball into the danger zone. Somebody's going to have to knock it into the middle. Robert Lee looking to turn and turning neatly. Picked up by Beardsley. And a great early strike there from Peter Beardsley, bringing the save out of hand, Seggers. Beardsley was responsible for the first two goals in midweek. Onto that one, and so quick to get a shot in. Seggers had to pull out the save. Quickly taken, not back in again. And an important jump there by Fashionu, who was back doing the defending job. Kevin Stockwell well up there. Fashionu number nine there, looking to take care of Scott himself. Played short this time for Sellers. Bracewell trying to open up the angle for the ball in, looking for Scott as well. And there was an elbow in there, was that? By Scott, yes, on Fashionu. Scott and Fashionu were shoulder to shoulder for 90 minutes, hammer and tongs. It was a real old-fashioned collision between a strong centre-half and a strong centre-forward. I'm sure that battle is going to resume this afternoon with just the same ferocity. And there they go again. And Fashionu just sticking a foot out there. Perhaps he didn't need to. But it's Kevin Scott who's going to get a lecture. Mr Callow. Just making sure that that little collision doesn't spill over. Look at the odd grudge flying around since Wednesday night. Two is Warren Barton. This is Kimball. Good jump there by Scott and away by Sellers for Beardsley scuffling after it. Beer going across to try and cut it out. Cole takes it well, turns it back, but Barton can now pick it up. Holdsworth was looking to get clear of the defence, but Newcastle held their line. Now Scott, looking to play it long towards Cole. Fitzgerald is the back man. It came off the back of his ankle, that one. And Siggers. Holdsworth has a look around. Quite happy to settle for a throw-in. Holdsworth who got the... Vital second goal for Wimbledon on Wednesday night. His third of the season. Here's for handball there against Vinnie Jones. And United get the free kick. Beresford looking ahead. And he's just going to play it square for keeper Mike Cooper. Steals a few extra yards, laying it forward there, McAllister underneath it. 
straight to Venison. There's a handball there, but referee giving Newcastle the advantage. Looking for Cole, picked up by Lee. Venison has carried on his run. Robert Lee, Beardsley. Venison has still stayed forward. Newcastle battling to keep this move going. And nobody battling harder than Venison and Lee now. And the tackle came in there from Warren Barton, and Hans Segers can get control of the ball there. But Newcastle refused to let that move die. But Barry Venison was really at the heart of it all. And Venison losing out there to Andy Clark. Cover coming now for Watson. Clark still causing a lot of problems. He certainly did in the first game in midweek. Now it's Vinnie Jones, and up goes the flag, offside. On to a penalise there. Linesman right up with play. Fitzgerald nodding it away, looking for Fashionu, that Scott got the head in first. Here's Watson, Beardsley was out wide, but it didn't find him, Fear plays it forward, but only as far as Scott Sellers. Beardsley, nice first-time ball back for Beresford to keep the move going. Fear, robbed there by Beardsley, but the linesman signalling he thought it was a foul. Free kick then to the Dons. Scott Fitzgerald. Pull one that, cut out by Lee. Beardsley just chesting it down for Sellers. Beardsley and Sellers working together neatly, trying to keep the move going for Cole, but Beardsley once again wins it back. Now Bracewell looking to open it out wide here to Lee Clark in space. Here goes Clark, Cole wanted it. Clark fires in the so shot there, but there were three or four bodies in the way, and Segers forced to improvise there. Watson again, the linesman again on the far side, holding up play, an offside decision. Nod on from Fashionu. Holdsworth down to Barton. Fear just behind him. Barton squeezing it square, but picked up now by Robert Lee. Looking for Andy Cole. Fitzgerald covering. And away for a throw. Fitzgerald can let that one go all the way through to Segers. Scott. Now Bracewell opening it out for Lee Clark. Watson made the overlap. Two men on him, one of whom is Andy Clark here. Robbed by Lee Clark. Fashionu's header on, Watson, fortunate that that fell straight for Scott Sellers. Beresford is outside. Sellers again, Sellers seeing plenty of the ball in midfield. Clark takes over. Ball for Cole, Cole made a good run, gets the shot across there. Didn't really get the sort of venom on it it needed to. Trouble at Hans Segers, but a, a good piece of running by Andy Cole. And uh, Newcastle's midfield linking well. Lee Clark sliding it through there. You can see the surface is extremely wet. It may well just affect the pace of the ball. Beresford. Hooper getting it, whether he wanted it or not. And with no option but to find touch.
Vinnie Jones specialises in these long throws. Well, a very good one, though. Harris and Sellers who can play this neat short passing game with each other so effectively. Newcastle caught there. This is Warren Barton. Barton looking to get it across. Good defending by Scott. Wimbledon have got the corner kick and they really do take full advantage of dead ball kicks. Fashionu is right inside the six-yard box. Well, that one didn't reach him at all. Pushed out wide again for Barton to have a second go. That's a better looking head, a good punch from Hooper. Jones made a complete hash of that. And gets some stick for that miss. But that was a poor clearance, picked up by Fitzgerald. Peter Fear out wide. And Beardsley looking for Cole. Good jump there by McAllister again. It falls for Newcastle in the midfield. Lee Clark looking to play it early, but cut out. Venison and Fashionu together. But the flag up on this near side before Fashionu could really make any headway. Sellers for Lee Clark. Eddie Cole opening up room for Robert Lee. And he came out with it. Clark and Cole there and Bids in a great position in the middle. Mr. Cullen right there wasn't going to give a penalty and Cole eventually blasts the ball wide. Cole taking over, but it was Robert Lee who was asking for the penalty there, perhaps. Lee did exceptionally well to win that ball back. He was then trying to find the right option. He wasn't given much time. And I'm not surprised the referee didn't give it. Good jump again by Beresford. Beardsley after it. Fitzgerald is the defender. Beardsley still going. McAllister away. Beardsley picks it up again. Squeeze through to Robert Lee. Cole is in the middle. Cole couldn't turn it on target. But Newcastle's sharp passing opened up Wimbledon then. Beardsley to Robert Lee. And Cole tried to turn it in to the goal, but couldn't manage it. Barton brings it down and plays it forward. Offside again. Against Holdsworth. Venison. Lee trying to play the ball in behind John Fashionu for John Beresford, who made progress up the left. Fashionu again, and Sellers now, robbed by Holdsworth. A neat passing again, nice well through to Andy Cole. Cole away this time, played in early. Lee Clark making up the ground now, but he's still got to turn and play it into the danger zone once again. Good ball there for Scott Sellers. Square again for Beresford. Good passing here by Newcastle. Beresford attacking. Knocked on there by Robert Lee. Watson turns it on and behind. Another impressive spell of football, though, by Newcastle going forward. Watson looking to play the final ball in. Beresford... Initially causing the trouble there. Watson, first time, but behind. Flags up against Andy Clark. 
Clark's a real handful in midweek. Terrific pace out wide on the left. Watson with the throw. Beardsley. again excellently positioned <laughs> and on by fashion hooked away by Venison the line by Watson altered back there by Kimball and Scott Clark charging in there but still Newcastle retaining the ball and their composure and Sellers looking for Cole and Sellers was out Cole's pace though always a threat in those situations Fashionu now. Scott takes it off so casually. That's a good ball out wide for Lee Clark. Beardsley in the middle, but it's for Cole out wide. Played in first time. Fitzgerald not getting any great distance on it. Andy Clark barging into Steve Watson then. And Mr. Callow gives Newcastle the free kick. Sellers going across to take it. Extra help arriving for Cole via Kevin Scott. Sellers with the kick. Aim for Scott on the far post. Marked by Fashionu and away by Kimball. Holdsworth trying to run Beresford. Beresford too quick. And going to return nicely there from Mike Hooper. Good turn, good strength there by Robert Lee. Lee away and still going offside. Beardsley and Cole both fairly far advanced in that move. Some good football though. Lee shrugging off that challenge from Scott Fitzgerald. A lot of strength as well as skill, Robert Lee. And uh, he was homing in on goal. Final ball for Cole, but offside. Now Scott. Watson, Beardsley chesting it down. Grace with one foot to it and found Beardsley. Beardsley with a bit of room here. Beardsley will look for the shot, just past the post, but Beardsley saw it opening up for him and kept the defenders in two minds about whether he's going to lay it off. Beardsley, a familiar scuffling run, and not that far away. Good break by Newcastle there, and not for the first time. Fashion and Scott still resuming their confrontation. Hooper acknowledging that wasn't the greatest of kicks, but offside decision helped him out. Now Beresford. Forward by Scott. Fitzgerald, but it's down for Beardsley and played out wide again. Free kick.
Barton have to organise the defence, but the free kick is quickly taken. And behind there for a goal kick. Scott Sellers settling back into the side fairly comfortably after a good while on the sidelines. Twenty minutes gone. No score as yet, but Newcastle full of attacking ideas but needing to convert their superiority into the first goal. Warren Bart. Fashion who looking to turn. Really puts himself around the pitch, this John Fashion who. A lot of time helping out the defence and dropping back into midfield as well as being the front target man. Vinnie Jones, the long throw, looking for Fashionu. It's not clear. It is now. Watson trying to get to it before Clark. Kimball plays it in towards Earl, but again, Watson is there. First time cut out by Peter Fear. Kimball cut it out. Rob there by Andy Clark, and away goes Beresford. Beresford, first time ball in. Robert Lee tried to get there. Now Lee Clark, he can knock it back in. Clark forced to turn again. Grace was made a run. It's towards Cole. And he can't get up and create anything from that one. Cole really was a big miss down at Selhurst Park. His overall contribution, in the way he also instills a little bit of panic, perhaps, in defenders at times who are aware of his pace and what he can suddenly turn on. It always makes them a little bit more watchful, a little bit more cautious in what they do. Martin looking to play that one in behind the defence, but nobody there for his team. Now Venison. Venison, Lee Clark out wide, Cole indicating he wants it. Lee for Watson. Cole going for it, just couldn't get on top of it. Sellers for Bracewell, Bracewell. Great work there, and a nice ball in, but Beardsley just lost control. Sprinting after it, you can see how frustrating that was for Peter Beardsley. Newcastle's ball, Fashionu again. Clark, Andy Cole control of that one, Lee, who's taking up some dangerous positions, Watson, square for Bracewell, cluster of defenders there every time, and just get a foot to that one, and Fashion looking to get away, but Hooper, concentration spot on, Lee, a little late back there, but Hooper acting as a fifth defender there, as goalkeepers really do need to these days. No problem there for Hooper. Holmesworth getting up well, but no real prospect of causing too much trouble from that distance. Slipped there by Fear, and Beardsley could capitalise. Cover arriving through Fitzgerald, but he couldn't get to it in time. Beardsley's got no support with him as yet. Now he has Scott Sellers. 
Sellers. Robbed there by some determined tackling from Vinnie Jones. Allsworth wanting a lot of time there. Fashionu and Scott. Fashionu will really give it a chase. Hooper. Bracewell for Scott. Lee looking for Lee Clark. Lee's persistence just keeping it moving. Newcastle's way again. Scott. Nice careful pass there for Sellers. Bracewell. Beresford. The surface not proving too easy for the players. Benison's available. Clark. Still in the dummy there. In for Cole. Tackle from behind by Fitzgerald. Free kick to Newcastle now. Again, Newcastle showing their faith in passing the ball about. And here they go again. Lee Clark looking for Scott on the far side. If he can get up, down for Beardsley. Beardsley, good tackle that from Fear. And Barton can find Fashionu. Fashionu robbed by Beardsley. Great little tackler, Peter Beardsley. Low centre of gravity and quick pumping running action. Look at that. Excellent. Fashionu robbed. Still no score, still Newcastle looking for that breakthrough. Really do feel there may well just be a flood if Newcastle could find that first goal. Cole now, Fitzgerald had it marked tightly though. Well, for Beresford. Fear. Jones and Scott getting it away. Clark first time. It's Gerald's header there. Scott again sticks a leg in there. Scott. Lee. Good turn. Fashionu and Scott again together. Fashionu got the lay down. Sellers. The ball back now for Beardsley. Nice work by Scott Sellers there. Now Beardsley. Lee Clark is available on the far side. Couldn't find him, but Bracewell couldn't find him either. Andy Clark can play it back for Seggers. Straight out of play. Newcastle will keep the pressure on via the throw-in. Here they go again. Venison. Through for Andy Cole. Cole looking to turn his man, defending by Kimball. Is he going down there? The referee could not have been better positioned, about two yards from the incident. I think that was a genuine slip. Knock on there by Robbie Earl. Clark getting a foot in. Jones forward looking for Fashionu, but even Fashionu doesn't really chase that with any great conviction. Hooper just checking that he's in time to pick that one up. Fashionu offside by at least a mile. Sellers, accurate ball out there for Lee Clark, who was harassed out of it by 
Alan Kimball. Tennyson. Again, women are so quick with their challenges, but all of them legal. Was that all of them all just out of play? Mr. Callow's positioning in this game has been excellent. He's been right on the spot every time to make the decisions and made them with no fuss at all. Lee Clark turning, two men minding him. Jones, it came off, out of play. That's Newcastle's ball. Clark. Well by Jones, who read that one well. Forward now for Fashion Hoop. They're going to take it around Scott and have a run at him. Good defending though by Kevin Scott. And his critics at times, but he's had a storming game so far. He really turned in a committed performance on Wednesday. Scott again. Venison there. For getting the ball, but it was, it was a bit close to the edge on Fashion Hoop. Venison. Obviously realising that a half-hearted challenge on fashion is a waste of time. Certainly looking to stamp his own authority on the big Wimbledon number nine. Kimball. for that one. Can't really have too much of an argument about it. Just over half an hour gone. Still it's nil-nil. Barton's name in the book. Newcastle still pressing, but still looking for that breakthrough. Now Venison hitting it deep. Fashion who back there again. Martin's foot was a bit dangerously high there, and Sellers. It was a positive effort there from Scott Sellers. The advantage was getting the shot in early enough and hoping perhaps to catch Segers unaware. by Watson, back by Fear. Lee jumping, but Barton winning it. Fitzgerald. Venison out wide. Beardsley couldn't get to it, but now it's Robert Lee who's picked it up. too early and you could be forced into a decision to send off which you're not really looking to do. Vinny Jones knocking it back. Fashion up there looking for Earl. You can find him, Scott Sellers now. Good ball for Andy Cole. Cole with room but so many defenders ahead of him. Now Cole attacking around the outside. Slithering around Cole. Would have been a marvellous one if he could just have converted it, but he's turning and his balance there proved the undoing of the Wimbledon defence. Great pace, two of them 
checking. I mean, both went down into cut it out, were both left on the ground, but it was just the wrong side of the upright. Great bit of skill, though, from Andy Cole. Cole again. Clark turning it off for Cole. Oh, I have to chase it out wide. Kimball sliding in there, but again, Cole keeps his feet. And now it's Lee. Chance down again by Fitzgerald. Dangerous looking attacks these from Newcastle. Ten minutes to go to half time. Pressing and pressing again for the breakthrough. Robert Lee will take the corner kick. Vinnie Jones away. Nicely down for Lee to cross once more. Lee looking to have a goal. Take away from Jones. And he's got the penalty. Mr. Callow again right up there. And Vinnie Jones absolutely furious about that. Robert Lee. Down he went. There was a foot stuck out. Lee slightly exaggerating it may be, but there was no doubt that Jones made contact. Now a chance now for Peter Beardsley it'll be. Beardsley with the penalty. No problem at all. Peter Beardsley puts Newcastle ahead. His first league goal since his return from the penalty spot. No bother. Seger's not making any real progress towards that one. And Beardsley gives Newcastle the goal they were pressing for. 36 minutes gone now in the first half. And Beardsley from the penalty spot. Beardsley converting that with all the aplomb we would have expected from someone with his experience and of his calibre. They've still got to be taken, those penalties. Sellers is the man of the moment, and Sellers again. above his right eye, but it's not bothering him a jot. Watson turning that one back. Holdsworth this time. Stuck into Scott. Free wanting that one taken again while he has a cautionary word with Dean Holdsworth. Three quarters of a million he cost from Brentford. On again by Jones. Scott, 
taking the ball upfield. Beardsley to Scott. Scott carried on the run now. Looking for Cole. There's a useful ball played in towards Andy Cole. But a great run by Kevin Scott. His distribution in this game really has been quite a feature of his play. And that was Amy for Cole low. Cut out though, and Newcastle will get the corner kick. Beardsley sprinting over for it and turning to get the angle and nearly finding Clark. Beresford. Sellers first time. Hit deep. Cole can't keep it in play. to the final five minutes of this first half. Newcastle ahead, thanks to that Peter Beardsley penalty. Down by Andy Cole. Clark can't keep it in play, but he knows he's got the throw. Watson instead. Edison just losing out there, but the strength Keeping possession with Newcastle, Bracewell, Sellers, Venison. Surface is proving a nightmare out there. Just a, a sheen all the way across the top of the grass of moisture. Clark nearly making it. Sellers, rather fortunate to get away with that mistake, but again, it just shows how much chasing a fashion who does. Venison now, little touch on there for Cole. Warren Barton in midfield there. Fashionu, Scott. Forward by Barton. Again, Wimbledon pushing forward. Free kick then for Wimbledon. Knocked on by Fashionu. Jones forcing it into the middle. It's really dangerous there from Clark. Warren Barton. Losing out there. Newcastle get the free kick. On by Robbie Earl. Beresford first to it. Fitzgerald now away. Flag was up on this side. Beresford so keen to get on with it. Beardsley can only hand it to Peter Fear. Bracewell coming away with it as well. Great control. Beardsley on for Cole. Not quite. McAllister forward. Lee back to Watson.
lead, given a surprising amount of space. Peter Fair fearing there and covering across, but something went wrong with the Wimbledon marking there. Lee finding himself with the yard or two in the penalty box, which hasn't happened too often. Beardsley over the top there, Cole ready to get to it. Cole in there, Lee, Sellers first time. There goes the half-time whistle then. Newcastle United mounted all the pressure and played, it must be said, all the football really. Just the one goal to show for it. Finally came after 36 minutes, Peter Beardsley converting a penalty after Billy Jones fouled Robert Lee. So the half-time score then in this Blue Star match, it's Newcastle United 1, Wimbledon 0. Join us again after the break when we'll have the Blue Star quiz where you can win four pints of beer, presented this week by Brian Kilcline. Stay with us then. Standing around like at bus stops and waiting to get there might spoil your enjoyment of McEwen's Lager. Let's hear it for Sturdy Shoes. Beardsley again. Brilliant goal. Well, that's a marvellous goal by Beardsley.
And looking for Mirandinha, and not a bad ball, and Mirandinha could be in here, and Mirandinha has scored! A sensational start for Newcastle! Time now for the Blue Star quiz, and it's my turn this week to ask the questions uh, regarding my uh, playing career. Um, the first question is, um, from which team did I start my footballing career? Was it A, um, let me think now, was it A, Northampton, B, Notts County, or C, Juventus? Was it A, Northampton, B, Notts County, or C, Juventus? Now the second question is, uh, one of the greatest moments in my footballing career was when I left the FA Cup in 1987. Um, which was the team that I lifted the, well, who we beat in the cup final? I'll get that right in a minute. Uh, was it A, Spurs, B, Nottingham Forest, C, Wrexham? Was it A, Spurs, B, Nottingham Forest, C, Wrexham. It's very easy, this quiz this week, you know, and that's why they asked me to do it. Uh, the third question is, I joined Newcastle in February of last year, or two years ago. Uh, from which club did I come from? Um, Reuter Rovers. No, I can't say that, can I? Yes, I can. Reuter Rovers, A. Nottingham Forest, B. Or Oldham Athletic, C. Reuter Rovers, A. Nottingham Forest B or Oldham Athletic C. Dead easy. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed the game. Having rain run right down the back of your neck might spoil your enjoyment of McEwen's lager. Let's hear it for hats. Newcastle United get the second half of this Blue Star match underway, leading by one goal to nil. And looking to press on and get some revenge for midweek. Peter Beardsley converting the penalty with great composure after 36 minutes. You can guarantee that Wimbledon will battle all the way. It's the only way they know how to play. Andy Clark caught there as Newcastle pushed out. Seen quite the same sort of service today as he enjoyed on Wednesday night. And he was a constant fall in the side for the Newcastle defence. Barry Venison knocking that one over the top. Fear with the challenge. Beardsley, Beresford, being shunted back there by Holdsworth, Barton there, and Barton, no, doesn't reach him, Paul Bracewell saw to that. Seven hundred and fifty thousand from 
Brentford, 18 goals last season. Finding them a little harder to come by, though, this campaign. Sellers with a nod on. Scott turning it back for Hooper. From Hooper. Thea got a header in there. Now it's Bracewell. Not a full Bracewell, it's more precise pass is that. And away comes Kimball. Clark is the wide man. Couldn't get past Watson though. Free kick to Newcastle. take care here, Cole was closing him down all the time and away by Seggers Clark back and they're a little bit slow coming back out Newcastle, Cole and Beardsley both caught in an offside position really Cole I'm sure he'd love to get a goal today and get back into the swing of things 27 goals in 26 games before this one, a quite astonishing scoring record Scott up there, and Beresford away, down there by Clark. First time effort there from Bobby Earl. Short of enterprise with that one. He really would have had to have pulled out something rather special to beat Hooper from there. A solid whack at it though, just going too high. Turn now from Andy Clark. Clark looking to go on the outside of Watson. Clark getting round again, but out of play. Throw to Wimbledon. Wimbledon making a more determined start to this second half. Be Vinnie Jones winding up for the long throw. Not really caused any great problems with it. Aim towards that near post. Fashionu is the target. But Bracewell got up well. Clark. Beardsley, lovely little turn that. And taken over by Scott Sellers. Lee is the wide man. Newcastle's ball, but an accurate, dangerous looking break there. Beardsley just poking that one through, hoping to catch Lee. And charging in on fear to try and cut down the clearance. Still Newcastle turning, and Fear again can play it away. Peter Fear catching the back of his leg there. Fashion out, Scott jumping well. Holdsworth. Holdsworth still going. Did I get a touch off Sellers? It did. Only a corner kick then to Wimbledon. Really do have to pay attention from these dead ball kicks, Newcastle. And Wimbledon can capitalise. Not a very good delivery though. Hook clear by Beardsley for Andy Cole. He's turned Fitzgerald, but I don't think the referee liked that. A boot too high on Fitzgerald as he came in there. So Wimbledon get the kick again and then look to put Newcastle under pressure. Once more, Scott jumping well. He's had a stormer. And Watson gets to it before Andy Clark and Kimball, but it falls now for Lee Clark. 
Venison. Looking to set Cole away. McAllister can tidy up, though. There's a poor one from Seggers. Bracewell going to get on with it quickly. Beardsley now turns and faces the defence. Beardsley, lovely ball through to Robert Lee. Cole is in the middle. Cut out, though, by Fear. Peter Fear sensed that Cole was spare behind him. Lee getting a ball in there. Lee again attacking on the outside. The cross is behind. Not a reflection on it though, so corner kick to Newcastle. Robert Lee leading this one for Scott Sellers to swing inwards. Curling this one left footed. Scott right on the post there. Away by Vinnie Jones, appeals there for handball. Acknowledged by Mr. Callow. Watson got ahead to it there. Hooper clears it deep. Backpedalling by Fitzgerald. Cole sprinting away after it. Fitzgerald turning it safely upfield, but Beresford was there first. Beardsley couldn't control it on that occasion, so Wimbledon have the throw. Holdsworth got ahead to it. Scott again coming out with the ball, and Venison looking to set Cole away. Fitzgerald's header back for Hans Seggers. Foul there. On Robbie Earl. Warren Barton preparing to take it. Vinnie Jones is at the far post. Good jump though by Watson. Kimball trying to turn it in. Goldwoods, but not really creating too much there. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Still 1-0, Newcastle lead. Ashley trying to turn there, but again sliding over. Players have had repeated problems keeping their footing. Grace will though out to Cole. And Beardsley now looking to take it on. Beardsley. That was neatly played, almost too tight. Ashley robbed by Scott. Hooper now. Jones going to close him down. Hooper. Now uh, Fitzgerald has to be careful here. And Cole's running paid off. Sagan's forced there to clear in less than convincing manner, but it's that pace of Andy Cole that's such a threat to players, really undermines their confidence on the ball. Sellers looking to deliver. Sellers for Beresford. Nearly squeezed through to Cole, but it was well cut out by McAllister. Holdsworth takes it up. Tackle there by Beresford. Beresford just going to see how things were, I think. And Mr Callow suggesting that uh, keeps a healthy distance. Is it Scott getting involved there when he didn't perhaps need to? And now Mr Callow is going to have his piece. Holdsworth is the man down injured while Marisford gets the lecture. 
Vic Callow has refereed the game with calm authority. Another bumper crowd for Newcastle. It's always the Newcastle contingent that's sold. The only thing that affects the crowd these days is how many fans the visitors bring. Holdsworth getting a fair bit of attention here. Looks as though they're going to bring on the substitute. Number 14 is Gerald Dobbs. And in fact, it's Andy Clark who's come off. So Dobbs on then for Wimbledon. As the free kick comes across. A bit of confusion there. Ashenu couldn't take it in his stride. Barton trying to get there again. Posse of players ahead of him. Barton going down there and admitting there was no penalty. Referee on hand again. I mean, quite a lengthy conversation he was then with uh, Harry Venison. <laughs> Cole trying to flick it on. Scott jumping again, beating Jones to it. Lee Clark winning the ball as well. Scott Sellers now. Newcastle attacking with real pace through the midfield. Eager to get on with it. Lee has been so mobile in this game. Cole. Good cover by McAllister. And it needed to be. Good break. Lee with the square ball. Excellent cover there from Brian McAllister. Cole right on the edge of that six-yard box. Lee wins it back for Newcastle. Beardsley through to Lee. How did he find the room there? And Fitzgerald covering this time and putting it behind for another corner kick. Precision pass there by Peter Beardsley, though. Fitzgerald had to provide the cover. Over comes the corner again. Fashion who was back to help out the defence, lashed away there by Warren Barton. <laughs> Taken by Holdsworth, appeals for handball. Not upheld. Now Lee Clark. Watson on the far post. Can he turn it across goal? Out of play, said the linesman on this near side, a strong run there from Steve Watson not quite able to keep the ball in play got it on there by fear Bracewell Coles header through to Lee Clark Lee Clark still going, Clark, Siggers, Cole, it's another one for Andy Cole, the problems are all behind him now, and Andy Cole gets another one for Newcastle, Lee Clark, the first effort, Siggers didn't gather it, and Cole was in there and coached it, the two lads together there, great friends, who've had a difficult week, but have Brought it to the right conclusion, Andy Cole on target once again. His phenomenal goal-scoring record continues. It's Newcastle United 2, Wimbledon nil now. 16 minutes gone in this second half. And Andy Cole puts a troubled week behind him in the way he knows best. The 16th of the season and it'll have a special meaning for him. Lee Clark reinstated today, so much a part of it. Segers unable to deal with it, and Cole's reaction spot on. And they're singing his song again.
Sellers through the midfield. Down he goes. Peter Fears challenge. It's a clumsy one, and Wimbledon are looking rather rattled now. Down went Sellers. And I think Peter Fear will get a booking for that one. One, two, three, six in the wall there. And Vinnie Jones just on the edge of it. Now Sellers has got a pretty useful kick on him as well if he decides to maybe go for one round the wall. Or will Beardsley try to put one the other side on top of it? May well be the option with two Newcastle men perhaps protecting the way through. This is a well-rehearsed kick, one suspects, coming up here. Sellers for Beardsley. Brilliant! Just brilliant from Peter Beardsley. What a superb goal. That free kick worked absolutely to perfection. And look at the joy there. All the training, all the preparation, all the practice. Well worth it when it comes off like that. It worked like clockwork. Peter Beardsley smashes in his second of the game. Total precision with that finish. You could see the plan. Stopping it was another thing altogether. 3 0 now for Newcastle. And United well on top. Peter Beardsley. Well, as good a finish, surely, as he's ever managed. Sellers, Bracewell, all played their part. The men cleared out the wall straight through that gap. Tremendous. And Newcastle now are really singing. in the walls there getting a bit of attention and I think they're all enjoying the afternoon you can see the riff he got in his stock, stockings there 20 minutes gone in this second half and Newcastle have really taken charge Bracewell tidying up now the best break so far by Wimbledon feeling in for a handball down by Jones but Earl's effort was denied Fashionu <laughs> trying to barge away through the Newcastle defence Cooper plays it forward for Clark and Newcastle I think are really looking to turn on the style now things as usual in the midfield 
Martin trying to knock it over the top. Away by Watson. Down by Beardsley. Beardsley picks it up again. He's really going through his full repertoire now. But he couldn't find Cole. It's a good header out wide by Holdsworth to find Vinnie Jones. Holdsworth streaking through the middle. Cover there from Venison, who read it all the way. if it is he's down injured Steve Allen the physio for Wimbledon back on the back of the head to back in the action again Cole just couldn't get the header on that one. <laughs> Lee Clark trying to skip around the outside there of Kimball. Newcastle really buzzing now, and Wimbledon have battled back with some spirit here, but they're finding it desperately difficult to get any sort of change out of the Newcastle defence all the disappointments and all the frustrations of the last few days uh, being exorcised I think by this performance now the target Scott once again getting it perfectly right nice one to Lee Lee through the middle Lee's played a lot more varied role in this game than recently race one out wide for Andy Cole here goes Cole Cole looking all the way elbowed out of it there by Peter Fear but the referee having none of it Holdsworth now for Wimbledon. Cole going all the way here. Fear concerned about it. Well, I've seen penalties given for less. Now Beresford. Beresford forward again, but Kimball with time to bring that down. Out wide and cleared by Scott. Clark had to check back, driven all the way across to Sellers. Lovely little lay down there for Andy Cole. Sellers still moving forward, first time. Watson on the far post, putting it back. Robert Lee, Lee for Clark. Grace well, first time for Cole. can't learn that sort of composure, you know. Cole there, the first effort, Beardsley, you just kicked it over the keeper, as tall as you like. Peter Beardsley, his third, and Newcastle taking full revenge for that Coca-Cola Cup defeat. Newcastle 4, Wimbledon 0.
and Peter Beardsley is back to his very best in a Newcastle shirt. Memories of that golden spell when Keegan was playing alongside Beardsley. And Peter Beardsley has only got better with time, it seems. Cole looked as though he was on for his second, but Beardsley just chipped it over there with great poise. in this one Jones in fact getting the talking to there and the yellow card Martin booked Fear and Jones then for Wimbledon and it looks as though they had all their good fortune on Wednesday night they've got absolutely nothing out of this game Bracewell's tackle. Sellers just letting that one drift under his feet, but regaining the ball. Lee. Chase it. Bachelot's header on. Watson. Now Lee Clark has got some room to work in here. Here goes Clark. Beardsley, Clark. Sellers, Cole. Oh, the deflection just took it the wrong way. Thought for a moment that was going to end up in the back of the net as well. For Cole second. And they can't get on with it too quickly. Fitzgerald there and Fear now. Lee Clark back for Benetton. It's a performance reminiscent of last season when they really swept teams to one side. Robbed that time by Robbie Earl. 15 minutes left in this game. Newcastle leading by four goals to nil. And by the look of it, with the appetite to carry on and increase this scoreline further. Barton. Newcastle's ball. there for Hooper. <laughs> Free kick then to Wimbledon. for Barton, 
Locked in. Robbie Earl saved well by Hooper. Well denied there. That's the first real save that Mike Hooper's had to produce. And it was a sharp one as well. But now it's Andy Cole on the attack. Cole running at the defence. And Segers was caught in two minds there and off balance. And away off the post. It was a narrow escape again by Wimbledon. We were getting run ragged at times. Scott forward for Sellers. Lee, Clark out wide. Back for Bracewell and Sellers. Bracewell again. Beardsley. Lee. Beardsley again. Ferris for getting the challenge in. And Newcastle get the ball back again. No great problems. Fear knocks it back now for Hans Seggers. Cole, very close to another one, just a few minutes ago, off the post and away. Barton losing out there, Bracewell, did forward by Benison to Sellers. To the Beardsley through the middle, McAllister's headed down, still has to be dealt with by Fitzgerald. And Seggers on the overlap almost. Graceful again. When Newcastle get in this quick passing mood, they really do take some stopping. Cole. Benison. Just poking it out wide for Lee Clark. Sellers, Lee. Lee really does seem to have reveled in this role more through the middle. Cole. Bracewell. Lee. That's a fair challenge by Dobbs. Fashionu. Kevin Scott's had a stormer. Carrying that nasty cut across his eye, but he's really been right at the thick of every tackle. And again. Now, could be danger on here. Robbie Earl is away. Holdsworth was there, but the cover came from Watson. All the way across, and... Scott acknowledges the support there from his right back. Corner kick, aimed for Fashionu, but won by Venison. Beardsley losing out to Barton, but still persistent. Ron Barton getting a good looking ball over the middle there. Watson jumping well again. Hooper then had to punch that clear and Beardsley, what a beautiful ball down there. Hooper stretched there. Beresford now bringing it through the middle, waiting to release Cole. Here's Andy Cole. Cole off target. Always wanting to have another strike at goal. That's why they fly in for him. It was Hooper who was under pressure then. Forced to punch that one. And 
down now for Watson. Sellers. And Clark takes it up. Billy Jones out wide. coming up there and that's a goal kick Bracewell gets through so much work in the midfield not always the most spectacular stuff but his economic passing style and his reading of the game absolutely first class the foundation for a lot of these close passing that Newcastle play. Well, that's behind for a corner kick. Venison there with few options open to him. And now Newcastle have this corner kick to deal with. Venison together with Vinnie Jones there, who's going to provide the near post target. Fashion who is behind him five yards or so. Aim towards Jones, got a knock on. That's Holdsworth coming in there, couldn't get above the ball and turn it on goal. The near post corner was a definite problem there. Jones, Holdsworth, but he didn't get on top of it. <laughs> Sellers. Beardsley, now Beresford supporting, turns inside his man, trying to roll it through for Andy Cole. It's a good run by Warren Barton from the midfield, but the ball overplayed. side there knocked in towards Fashionu all the way through for Mike Cooper five minutes left then in this Blue Star match Newcastle cruising 4-0 ahead Scott Sellers. Sellers, that was a good covering challenge there from Gerald Dobbs, the substitute. Sellers wanting possession out of it, but not getting it. And it's a goal kick to Wimbledon. Ashley and Scott together again. Clark knocks it back. I don't know who got that one in the mouth. And he got a tooth a bit wobbly from that one, I think. And he has been in the wars. He, he looks like a man who spent two matches marking John Fashionu. Kimball is the wide man here. Knocked on, but knocked back by Beresford. Didn't reach Beardsley. Bracewell or Venison. Cross for Beresford. Yeah. 
Beard's a lovely layoff there for Andy Cole. Still with Andy Cole for Robert Lee. Sega's got down to it and hacked away by Fitzgerald. Another superb passing movement, though, by Newcastle. Cole there. Lee took it on first time and cleared by Fitzgerald. Robert Lee racing to take it. Beresford. Lee turning and trying to get round Fear. He had the arm across. Back for Beresford, perhaps to deliver. Watson is up there supporting the attack. Watson still going. Perhaps sensing a moment of glory there. Dobbs. for Earl again, but Beresford neat and tidy as ever. Well into stoppage time now. Newcastle still hunting for a fifth. Lee Clark now setting off on a run. Robert Lee wanting it. Here's Lee. Just past that far post. Robert Lee looking to sign off in style. But it was another effective break. Lee Clark through there for Robert Lee, and had to hit it first time, not that far off target. And the whistle goes at the end of an exciting performance by Newcastle. All's well that ends well, and Peter Beardsley, a superb hat-trick as Newcastle really ran right in the second half. Andy Cole back in the team and back in favour with another goal and a traumatic and difficult week for the club ends in exactly the right way. A performance that Newcastle really needed after three consecutive defeats. Revenge for that League Cup defeat as well. It's Newcastle United 4, Wimbledon nil. We'll be back again after the break with more views from the dressing room. and being locked out might spoil your enjoyment of McEwen's Lager. Let's hear it for Plan B. Kevin, after the week that you've had, this was just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, I mean, it's back to basics, isn't it? I mean, uh, it's been a traumatic week. It's not been a great week for the club. But um, we've put it all behind us today and showed us to be a very professional bunch of footballers because they're the ones who've got to go out there and do it. And they did it in real style today. And, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the way Wimbledon play, but they've got a togetherness within the team that's to be admired. And I think today we had that togetherness. And then with the ability and, and the players we've got in the side, we give them a little bit of a football lesson. Yeah, I think 4-0 was a, probably a fair reflection on the game. I think we played that well today. And uh, coming back Wednesday night, we were a bit low, really. But uh, we responded today and got a good result. Your own contribution was uh, top class, as usual. The one that must have given you the most satisfaction was the goal from the free kick. Yeah, I was quite pleased with that. I'll be honest, the third one probably gave me more satisfaction. <laughs> The fact that the goalkeeper, you know, committed himself, but uh, you know, it's always nice that to score hat trick, and especially in front of these people. Oh, that was beautifully done! Peter Beardsley's hat trick, absolutely 
some superb finishing. So Newcastle get back to winning ways and go ninth in the Premiership. But they're only four points behind second place Norwich City, one of four clubs on 23 points. No reason why United shouldn't keep aiming high. We hope you've enjoyed this Blue Star match. Our next Newcastle game will be a midweek fixture. It's Newcastle against Sheffield United, which you can see in your local Newcastle Breweries pub or club on Thursday, November 25th. We'll see you then.